Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. You all know by now that uh, Graham Porter been sacked by Chelsea Football Club, but I didn't have time to give my reaction because I was live. I was live the same time he was sacked. So it was live on Soccer IQ, which was kind of curious to see how many people joined us after the sacking of, you know, Graham Porter. So if you ask yourself, where are you at? Why we don't see you anymore on GFC live streaming and watch alongs and call in shows? No, I'm here. Soka IQ every single day. The link is going to be in the description down below. It's a small channel that we are trying to switch everything live over there. So join us and let's have fun. So I was saying I was live talking about Manchester United just lost against uh, Newcastle United and taking and talking about what now for Pora and what's going to happen against Liverpool and boom breaking news it was live so we had good time so many people subscribed to the new channel much much appreciated so let's now go back to the statement from the club that you already know you already read it a thousand times because it's been here for like more than three hours, as you can tell. So basically, I'm going to pick up just some word here. Chelsea FC has announced that Graham Porter has departed the club. Graham Porter has agreed to collaborate with the club to facilitate a smooth transition. In his time with the club, Graham Porter has taken us to the quarterfinal of the Champions League where we will face Real Madrid. Chelsea would like to thank Graham Porter for all his effort and contribution and wish him well for the future. Bruno Salter will take charge of the team as interim head coach. Temporary, of course. Co-controlling owners Todd Boyle and Iqbali said, on behalf of everyone at the club, we want to thank Graham sincerely for his contribution to Chelsea. We have the highest degree of respect for Graham as a coach and as a person. He has always conducted himself with professionalism and integrity, and we are all disappointed in this outcome. Along with our incredible fans, we will all be getting behind Bruno and the team as we focus on the rest of the season. We have 10 games or 10 Premier League games remaining and a Champions League quarterfinal ahead. We will put every effort and commitment into every one of those games so that we can end the season on high. <laughs> Anyways, my people, I know many people who watch 99.99% of people are going to be happy celebrating. Me, listen, I don't feel anything, you know, because I, I've seen people come and go at Chelsea Football Club. I'm an old man. I've seen everything in this club. So sucking and signing new people is not a new thing for me. I, I start getting too emotionally attached with managers since when Jose Moreno was sacked and Ancelotti was sacked in the tunnel at Edison Park. So I don't I don't I'm not gonna cry or lose my my sleep because of Pora or Thomas Tuco or Frank Lampard or Jose Moreno anymore. It's business the end of the day. We paid you money. It didn't work out. Goodbye. See you later. The problem that I have here is about the culture that we wanted to change. For me, I thought that we're going to continue with a little bit of long-term project, which is, you know, giving the manager a little bit of time to work. But when it comes to result like this, it becomes almost impossible to defend Graham Porter. You know, people know that I've been defending him since day one. Some people even accused me of hiring him. I was responsible of sacking Thomas Tuchel and getting Graham Porter. Listen, 
I'm not an extremist. I am not a cartist. The problem we have in the Chelsea community is every time you tell the truth about certain players or certain managers, that means you are against us. So you have to be all in or all out. Just because Thomas Tuchel won trophies with Chelsea Football Club, you have no right to criticize him and say your tactics were bad and your formation is bad. You have just to blame Mason Mount and Callum Hassan Adoy. But for me, it's not that way. I like you, but there is nothing wrong by telling the truth. So it is what it is. This is the new generation of fans that we have. It's always you have to be all in or all out. That is not the way it works in my world. So it is what it is. Oh, well, oh, well. You know what? I like to edit some comedy in my videos just to make everything easier for people to watch because, you know, I'll, I'll like, this is my personality, right? I like to keep people happy around me making jokes. So I'm not going to change and be just like a journalist or pundit with a suit and tie and talking like a journalist. No. I like to joke. I like to make those little videos to make people... That, that's me right there. So it's nothing serious here. I'm not really disrespecting anybody. It's just the way I am. And everybody knows every single video from my video number one to the last is going to be a little bit of comedy and uh, serious. But you have to laugh sometimes. It doesn't hurt anybody, right? So people, now who is going to replace Graham Porter? Many names being thrown out there. And the last one that I am a little bit even surprised being Ruben Amorin. Mm, not sure, sure, not a flashy name that Chelsea community uh, is going to, to accept easily because the mind is already set to this German guy here, uh, Julian Nagelsmann. The end of the day, my friend, not you, not me, nobody is going to make the decision. Even though at the end it's going to be, oh, you wanted such and such. Listen, when we signed Graham Porter, I didn't even know him. The next minute, he was already at Cobham. But when you sign for Chelsea Football Club, I'm going to support you. Just because I didn't jump to the bandwagon of get him out immediately and we have to seek revenge for Thomas Tuchel, that doesn't mean that I wanted a new manager. Like I said, the truth needs to be said. And... You like somebody, you love somebody, you tell those people the truth. And under Lampard, I said it. Under Sari, I said it. Under Thomas Tuchel, I said it. And even under Julian Nagelsmann or even Luis Enrique, I'm going to tell the truth no matter what. I'm not going to be a cultist. So if you come here and expect me to be a yes man, yeah, Nagelsmann is the best. It's Manson Mount Fort. It's Ruben Ruff. No. I'm going to stay me. I am not going to flip-flop. You do something good, I give you credit. You do something bad, I'm going to say it. Simple as that. That is me. I can't sell my soul to the devil to flip-flop just for likes and just for people to, to love you. No, that is not me. So Chelsea approached Nagelsmann as top candidate. No compensation talks between Bayern Munich and Chelsea. Listen, give them Anthony Barry because now it's useless. He used to work with, uh, with Graham Porter. He's gone. Give them. And then we, 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 we swap, okay, instead of giving them money because legally this guy is still getting paid by Bayern Munich. So if you want him, you're going to pay Bayern Munich money. Technically, he's still he still works for Bayern Munich. Does that make sense to anybody? All right, so many names there. Let me know in the comment section down below what is going to be your choice. For me, like I said, I don't know, but I trust the board. I trust them to do their job, okay? See the manager that will fit what we have at the moment. 
I love managers that work good with youngsters. Develop those youngsters. Give them playing time. Make them men. Because I'm sick and tired of uh, checkbook managers who will come and buy a bunch of dead wood, force them to win a trophy, and when they leave, it's a catastrophe. We can't sell them anymore, and we have to restart the project again. This time, we have the best youngsters in the world. We are buying them from South America, from Europe, from everywhere. Now, you need a manager who can win, but also who can also develop, okay? Not type-ins managers. Pora was good for development, but not good for winning. So we, we, we need a winner plus a developing coach, if that makes sense. So assistant manager, Mr. Reed, left with Graham Porter, but still some other, you know, staff member that we, 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 we brought from, from uh, Brighton because we bought the entire staff, maybe eight people. That's why we paid like 21 million compensation to get this guy here and gave him 13 million salary a year that is absolutely crazy and stupid five years that is too much the guy was getting something like 1 million a year at brighton and all of a sudden you give him 13 million Todd ball need to learn this and he's gonna learn it the hard way listen just uh I don't know. So by the time I start, by the time you watch this video, something else can happen. Maybe somebody is going to be hired. But uh, let's see now what we're going to do against Liverpool. The funny thing is I've already made a video, a preview video between Chelsea and Liverpool. You know, considering that... Graham Porter is still the manager. But I have to release the video because it makes a lot of sense. I, I spent a lot of time to edit the video. So I'm going to have to release it. But I was talking about uh, our ex-manager. So, Negosman already getting information about Chelsea Football Club. Uh, waiting for his options. So something might happen in a few hours from now. Or tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. We're going to destroy... Liverpool, because now we don't have Graham Porter anymore and we have somebody who can even use a little bit of common sense and not use Rhys James in the back three and leave somebody like <laughs> Badia Shil on the bench. So let me leave you with a video because I was there when, uh, when the discussion happened in the office and um, Mr. Graham Porter was taken to custody because of all the damages that he caused a Chelsea football club is just for fun. Come on. For fun. You've done a hell of a lousy job. You're fired. Get out of here. Right? Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Na, 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 na. Oh, no. Na, 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 na. Are we allowed to see hey,